From spirits of elderly women chasing you on all fours, to young girls trying to strangle you in your sleep, today we check out 10 ghost reports from the Highlands of Scotland. Number 1. Balnagown Castle There are two prominent spirits that are said to haunt Balnagown Castle. Black Andrew, who in life was described as an evil man, who tortured and terrorised the local villagers. He is particularly fond of women, even if they do not want his affection, and apparently in death he is still groping female visitors to the castle. Though it is questioned as to why he would reside here, as this was not his worldly home. Some believe it is because the former laird of the castle was responsible for Black Andrew's death. The second, more pleasant spirit seen in the castle is of a young girl, who witnesses say has bright green eyes. She is rumoured to be a princess whose body was buried in the walls of the castle. Number 2 Balahulish House Balahulish House has a few interesting reports to note. The first one is of a phantom horse rider that has been seen approaching the building before vanishing on the driveway. But this next report I absolutely love. A lady that had visited the house was adamant that she had seen the building many times, but only in her dreams. Apparently upon talking to the owner of the property, the owner said that she looked just like one of the spirits that had been seen several times throughout the building. Do you think this could be a possible out-of-body experience? Number 3. Young Girl A hiker whilst travelling over the mountain Ben Alder found a stream that he needed to cross. Whilst looking for a safe place to get over, he accounts that he saw a young girl, in a blue dress, sat on a rock by the fast-flowing water. She pointed at the water and tried to entice him to cross over here. Though fearing the water to be too dangerous here, he moved further up the stream, to a place where the water was calmer. When you think of all the old tales of sirens trying to lure people to their deaths, you can't help but wonder if this young girl was something similar to those legends. Number 4. The Scary Woman There is a creepy report from the 1950s, from the no longer standing Odachi Lodge in Fort Augustus. The family residing in the lodge were plagued throughout the nights by a phantom knocking that no one could find the source of, until of course one night the knocking manifested into the form of a grey-haired lady that was crawling around the house on all fours, chasing the terrified family. Needless to say, they decided to move out shortly afterwards. Clearly what they had seen was too much paranormal for them to handle. Number 5. The Old Fashioned Hiker A mountaineer whilst climbing Ben Hope reported that once they neared the top of the mountain and was in cloud level, he could see just in front of him someone dressed in old-fashioned hiking equipment, roughly 20 yards in front of him. He says he tried to catch up with the figure, but no matter his speed he was unable to close the gap between the two of them. He soon found himself at the top of the mountain, and the mysterious entity had completely vanished without a trace. Number 6. Woman and Child In the early 19th century, a doctor reports that whilst they were visiting the Isle of Sky Bay, he watched in fascination as a ball of light drifted slowly from the sea to the shoreline before turning into a woman holding a baby, then vanished completely. The shocked doctor relayed his story at the inn that he was staying at, to be told that a few years earlier two bodies had washed up onto the coastline, that of a mother and child. Number 7. Margot There once stood a Victorian hunting lodge in Garve, that was home to a spirit that let its presence be known by banging and screaming into the night, clearly to the horror of everyone in the lodge. The spirit is believed to be a former scullery maid named Margot, who sadly burnt to death in a fire in the 19th century. Number 8. Murder There's a local story of a murder that took place on the banks of Lokashi. The story tells of a schoolmaster that was crippled in debt, that devised a plan to murder a peddler for his fortune, 
He struck the peddler over the head and dragged his body down to the waters to dispose of it. It is said that if you are in the right place on the 11th of March, you can see this ghostly reenactment of a murder taking place. I would like to ask if you have ever seen this, please let me know in the comments below. Number 9 Shipwreck Ghost There is a story from Dernis of a man that would gather up the remains from shipwrecks that would wash up ashore. That was until one night when he was awoken by the spirit of a sailor that was banging about and throwing things around his home. Eventually he mustered the nerve to talk to the spirit, though the sailor only motioned and pointed to the door. The man followed the spirit outside and down to the beach, but by the time they had reached the sea, the spirit had vanished and never returned. And finally for this episode, number 10, Tulloch Castle. Room 8 of Tulloch Castle Hotel in Dingwall has had many guests reporting to hotel staff of the feeling of a strange presence within the room. One gentleman in particular awoke one night to the sensation that two young girls were sat on his chest trying to suffocate him, though this alone could simply be put down to the strange but natural event known as sleep paralysis but this wouldn't explain why so many people staying in this room have described similar cases of waking up to see someone sitting on the end of the bed, whilst others have reported hearing the door handles rattle, or waking up to other disturbances within the room. That's all for this episode, thank you for watching, if you liked the video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.